Hey guys, it's Warrior Chicken. Welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. So today we're going to be continuing episode 4 in Sheep's Clothing. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Oh. No, I, I would love a biscuit. In the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. A crooked man has something on everybody. It wasn't just Beauty and the loan. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. He was even running black market magic out of the butcher shop. But that's over now, because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Sure thing, Buffkin. Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Pompous ass. Don't worry. We'll talk soon. You can count on it. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have an oh idea god, why? I thought finally thought we had it. Not necessary. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. It helps that I have a good working relationship with the mirror. And I don't mind speaking in rhyme. Crane was carrying it. For part of the night, at least. I found it in his coat. It's uh, pretty amazing it's still intact after the fight, the kidnapping, and then riding around with Bloody Mary for uh, hours. Yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. Alright, fine. You know what? Yeah, Buffkin can Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I, paid I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know... We can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? What? Oh, no way! Toad, come here. Oh, we're not actually doing this. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? I don't make this decision. Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? 
Is he going to the farm too? Yeah. You thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. For a friend, the rules will bend. Shit, I did say that. that I did say that. Colin isn't your concern. You should worry about your own fucking situation, Toad. Rotten bastard. Uh, now, now, it came out wrong. If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just want to stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a wash. Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ from the only army knows. This old glamour rules. Oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right, burdening the weakest of us like this. Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, it's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, sir. I knew I could count on you to make me whole again. We get it sorted and I'll be glamour to the nines, I will. Hey, that wasn't a promise. That was not a promise. Don't be jumping. Oh my god, Snow's gonna hate me. I knew this was gonna happen. Oh, she knows. Bluebeard, you wanna talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Don't worry, I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. I did the right thing. <sighs> Fine, we'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. What would make a person do that? If there's one thing I've figured out, it's that the Crooked Man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. Well, let's get to it then. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick <laughs> creep crane. 10 out of 10. He's probably still waking up a little. Snow, I know you've got your reasons, but he's not our top concern right now. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Oh, what? No way. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Oh, yeah, let's not. Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, oh. we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Uh, I got it. Uh, mirror, mirror, no time to pout. <laughs> so, where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. Oh. Okay. The door. It moves. Yeah. Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. 
When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way, but we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I can't make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fabletown government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right oh, way. God, not I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. See, I knew this was going to turn into a do it the right way, but... I don't think he really needs to stand trial because I think everybody knows this guy is gonna go down the witching well. Like, literally, I think everybody in this town knows that, so... Like I said, no guarantees. Oh wow, we got here fast! Oh, lost cat! Pixel is still missing! What the fuck? Um, I guess the only way to go is forward. It's like Harry Potter, you know? Just run through the wall. <laughs> Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Oh, tiny Tim. Tim. You'd think I'd have outgrown that centuries ago. How does he... I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. I don't want to get in trouble. Okay, Fine. okay, okay. Lead on. Tiny Tim. <sighs> what have you gotten yourself into? Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. <laughs> I thought it was a joke, actually. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? You work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? All right, all right. I mean, they're expecting me. It's not Thanks. like another minute is gonna change yeah. anything. Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Mate, 
I am Tell me who the steady. fuck is back it's there. The wolf. I, got a I, I don't exactly know. I, I just mind the door. Come around. The boss is there. I might crane before like him. That much. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. I say he'd be more useful killed, skinned, and made into a rug for me to wipe me shoes off. He's right. He was fine when Crane was smoothing things over, but this guy off his leash is a whole other barrel of crap that I don't want to deal with. So that's it then. Let's slip the dogs of war. Hmm? None of you can see fit to stare him down. The best outcome you can picture is having him dead. I like to think a little bigger than that. You're not frightened, are you? Yeah, it's easy for you to say. He didn't pull the claws out we on you. We will tame the rope. And I pray he will eventually be of more use to us alive. Well, well I don't like it. Sounds like they got the same it's plan as me. To like. That won't be necessary. Okay. <laughs> Sheriff Wolf, sir. Oh, okay. Georgie, Tweedles, Jersey Devil, Georgie's girl. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. Hmm, so this is our guy. You see, everyone in Fabletown has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. All right. Let's talk. All right. You got me here. Let's talk. Oh, oh my god, of course. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. Okay, this, I mean, the last episode of a season for any Telltale game at this point, I think is going to be, I can't even think of a good word to say for it. Eventful? No, every, every minute of this game's eventful, but man, I am, I'm scared, I'm excited, I'm very eager. To play the last episode of this game. Oh my gosh. And we finally met the Crooked Man. Part of me almost like wondered in the back of my head is if when they like revealed him, if it was gonna be someone that we already knew. But it wasn't. Like this guy is like I've we've never seen him before, so it's pretty interesting. We have a whole pretty much like new character to get to know, and that's why I said. All right, let's talk. The thing is, it'd be very stupid to say, you know, come with me or whatever. They were expecting us. We're kind of in their domain. They could just turn off their portal probably or whatever and I'd be stuck there. Hey, you know, I'm not saying I'm trying to bring him back to Snow alive. I mean, obviously that is still like ideal situation, but I don't, I don't think it's gonna go that way. I don't think it's gonna go that way. We're gonna talk, we're gonna listen, whatever. 
Like, I genuinely do think that Bloody Mary is going to be more of a problem than the Crooked Man. Like, she scares me. And I said this after the last episode, too. I just have a horrible feeling about her. And, like, after everything we've seen in this episode, too, like, she is scary. I am very scared of her. I think everyone else is, too. I bet the Crooked Man is even scared of her. Because she could probably kill the Crooked Man. She could kill anybody in Fable Town. She knows everybody. She knows her weaknesses, so... A little nervous, but nonetheless excited. Let's see how we're doing here. Okay. 85.5% of players decided Colin should not go to the farm. Did you attempt to re remove Norris's ribbon? Okay, majority of us didn't try. I don't even know if she, like, would have let us. As soon as, like, I stood up, she knew I was going for the ribbon, even though I just asked her about it, so... I don't know, but then if we could take it off, like, oh, then maybe we could have figured out what would happen, but... Yeah, no, I'm not trying to... That's their business, you know, I just want to take care of the leader. Alright, which crooked operation did you investigate? What?! Okay, I'm actually quite surprised that the majority would have gone to the butcher shop. I mean, to be fair, yeah, I, I get it. Like, the meat is super suspicious, like... But I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of happy we went to the Lucky Pond. I, I think we- I don't- like, I- I don't know if anything different would have happened. I mean, clearly it's important and things probably could have gone a little bit different. But I almost wonder if, like, we would have completely missed, like, the Jersey Devil. Maybe something would have different happened with Woodsman. Maybe he wouldn't have got his axe back. I don't know. I don't know what really could have gone differently, but... Hey, that's a next playthrough kind of thing. Uh, did you send Toad to the farm? Obviously, <laughs> majority of very happy decided he should not go to the farm. You know, I'm happy everyone else kind of agrees. Like, I think we all can kind of agree that some rules don't need to be followed. Like, sending them to the farm. <laughs> kind of like a murdering war going on. Sending my friends to the farm is the least of my priorities. And like I said, I'm still not doing it. <laughs> How did you respond to the crooked man? Oh! Oh, most people did not agree to talk. Oh, now I'm doubting that. Should have I just, like, started chaos? I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm like... Maybe I should have been a little bit more aggressive, but I'm trying to be cautious because this is no longer our domain. This is some magical weird stuff going on. So... And Bloody Mary. Like I said, she scares me. If she did not exist <laughs> in this realm, maybe things could go a little bit differently. But I know she's probably hiding in a freaking plant or something with a sniper on me with a silver bullet in it, ready to just shoot me in the heart. So, I'm being cautious. Reasonably so, I think. But, I say I really liked that episode. It was really, really good. It was as good as I hoped. The beginning, I think, was a little bit slow. I was just kind of confused, trying to, like, get information. And I wasn't really getting much. But, but we did this time. We we got a lot of stuff. I mean, we finally found the guy. Like, I, I think this, this is our last stop. I mean, likely it won't be. But in terms of our plan since day one, episode one... This was our plan. We found the guy who's been causing all these murders, and whether or not to say he's the one that did it, like, I don't think that's it. It's clearly everybody else doing the dirty work. For all we know, Snow White could have been murdering these people. Obviously, she isn't, but she very well could be. It could be anybody. It could have been Beast. It could have been Tweedles. It could have been, I don't know, Georgie Woodsman. I don't know. I've grown to respect Woodsman, though. Like, I like that interaction we had at the, um, the Lucky Pond there. That was... That was nice. Although he did say he was gonna possibly axe me. I'm happy he didn't. I think, you know, we ended, ended that pretty nicely. And I think he was supportive of me, you know, going, trying to figure out this crooked man and going after him. And I think everybody else is kind of trying to be like, you know, will you take care of this for us? Or will you do your job right? Or 
are you gonna find who's doing you know it's like they're pretty much saying oh my god please kill the crooked man and everybody or else we're gonna die please save the town and you know what i think that is the only thing i could do to get respect to this town again because everyone is still terrified of me aka big b everyone is still scared the butcher i walked in there poor johan was like oh big b oh my god but I, I I think we could pull it off. I hope we could pull it off. I I want to save all my friends. I'm sure we won't be able to save everybody. But I'm going to try my damn best to because I don't want anybody else to die. We've had a lot of people die. But I'm also like, I don't know, just thinking telltale. They're probably- they're gonna- they're gonna do some pretty bad things. They're probably gonna hurt or threaten to hurt Snow White. At this point, it's like her- like, she's Big B's kind of- I don't say main priority, but, you know, that's really kind of the only person that fully respects and trusts him and treats him like equal, doesn't like, you know, shake when he walks in a room. I guess Colin, too. Toad, I don't really know what's going on with Toad. Me and Toad are- we have a turbulent relationship. <laughs> I, you know, but I'm still gonna do my best to not let him and TJ go back to the farm. I love TJ. Okay. Got a lot of entries here. We got more about Bluebeard. Bluebeard's money. One might think that Bluebeard donates funds to Fable Town government for nefarious purposes, like seeking special favors or to have a louder voice in government proceedings, but what he really wants is stability and strength, because as far as Bluebeard is concerned, Fable Town exists to insulate him from the Mundy world. As much as his money can be a sword, it also serves as a shield. See, he's sort of still very curious about it. I still don't really know his deal. But I I think I've said this before. I'm not really concerned about him. I don't think he's working with the crooked man. I mean Okay, he very well could be. I mean he has a he has a past, so we do have to consider of being a serial killer towards women. But putting that aside, if that did not, you know, if he didn't really have a eventful past, I'd say he's just, like, pretty neutral right now. I mean, he, uh, everybody's got their own motives. You know, I, I, but I think he's still trying to do good for the town. And if you, if donating his money to make Fable Town better, or so he can have, like, a say, like, I don't really think that's such a bad thing. I mean, it's not ethical, but it's fine. There's people doing a lot worse out here, so I'm not, not too worried about him. The Crooked Lair. Occupying, occupying a desanctified church, this is just one of many locations a crooked man's operations uses to run the Fable Town Underworld. Its large, its lounge atmosphere makes for a comfortable meeting place. <laughs> it's a lounge in a church, that's so weird. Unless you are an unwelcome guest. It is completely boarded up to the outside world and the only way in is through one of the many portals marked by a door with the crooked man's Catherine Wheel sig- Icon? Crooked man's Catherine Wheel icon scattered through the city and elsewhere, like those meat packages. And he looks crooked. Crime Lord. The crooked man has slowly built himself into one of the most powerful figures in Fable Town. His operation started with a crooked sixpence at a crooked house. Who thinks he cared about more than his wife children, whom he killed, rather than let him stand in his way. No, oh, this guy is so crooked. I mean, he's crooked, but this guy is fucking crooked. In his rise, the crooked man has ensnared many fables in his criminal web, providing them with what they need, but always at a high cost. He's cunning, persuasive, and ruthless. Do you know who he reminds me of? I think I was talking about this. In the first episode. So, the show Once Upon a Time. You know, it's like kind of like real world fairy tale characters, assuming probably some fables in there too. And I kind of. You know what? Now that I think of it, it's been a long time since I've watched the show. But I remember like Rumpelstiltskin being very like, magic always comes at a price. I mean, he worked at a pawn shop, did he not? Like, I'm kind of thinking this guy is kind of like a Rumpelstiltskin, you know? I mean, he has the lucky pawn pawn shop. And, I mean, I don't really know his deal with, like, magic and stuff. If he... Like, that's probably more of a witch thing. 
But, hey, I mean, could, could, could be a little bit of a relation. I don't know, just a connection I've made, but. Give them what they want at a high cost. Like, fuck, man, like, you get a loan, if you don't pay it back in time, with probably very high interest rate, you're gonna be served in a pie to the alley cats. Like, that's so messed up. That is so crooked. I mean, he killed his wife and children. Like, how more crooked can you get? The blue bear's bad. This guy, <laughs> he's perfectly described. The crooked man. Oh, Tiny Tim. While most fables theorize that their longevity and overall well-being is improved by the Mundy's world's knowledge of them, for a select few, that does not seem to apply. When a malady or injury is an integral part of a fable story, that notoriety can make recovery nearly impossible. That's what Tiny Tim thinks, at least. And no medical care magic, rather none that he can afford, can heal his leg. Okay, so if he's working for the crooked man as his door boy, like, is he not getting paid? Like, can he not fix his leg? I'm sorry, but what is Tiny Tim doing here? I. What is he doing here? Why is he here? You are so pure. You are such a pure guy. Why are you here with such a crooked man? I don't. I don't know. I'm just sad. There's so many good people. Even still, I think I feel bad for like all the bad people now. Like, for example, the Tweedles. I mean, actually, eh, eh. <laughs> no, I didn't kill them because I, you know what? I felt bad. They were scared of Bigby. They're whatever. The town's wronged them in the past, and you know they're holding a bit of a grudge. But you know, like they got into some bad stuff, and I feel bad for anybody that is involved with the Crooked Man. I, fr I pretty much feel bad for everybody. Except the crooked man. And Bloody Mary. She scares me. And I don't like her. Everybody else? Eh, I kind of feel bad for. But those two, like I said, they're gonna be a huge problem. Anyway. What I'm trying to say is I loved this episode. It was fantastic. I'm kind of sad that there's only one more, but then again, like, I feel like it's just... This game has been a perfect length, like, perfect amount of like side story build up. Like I feel like I'm ready for the final episode. As much as I don't like, you know, I'm like, ah, I wish this game was longer. I guess it's easier knowing that, you know, there's a second wolf among us, you know, in the works. That's somewhat reassuring, but Oh, I don't want it to end because it's such a good game. I love it. But anyway. They gotta do it eventually, and I'm really excited to see how this story unfolds because I it's just been a roller coaster all over the place. Not linear at all, and I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did, and I will see you all next time when we start episode five. I will see you all then. <laughs>